Welcome guys. So in this video, uh, I want to talk about uh, this famous Lagrange polynomial. Okay, and then this is a short lecture uh, proving the existence of Lagrange polynomial and uh, tell you just how to use it. Okay, so this is a very interesting topic, I think, uh, when I was high school and I first time learned about this. Okay, so please subs uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so the idea is that uh, let's suppose that we have a set of two uh, points that x and y are on the R2. So on the xy plane, and uh, no xi are the same. So basically we have uh, like uh, different points. Okay, and uh, none of the xi are the same. So no xi are the same. Okay, and we need to do the so-called uh, do the interpol interpolation. Okay, so the the, hint, the idea is that if somebody give you a two points, right, you can find a line which which cross it. If somebody give you a three points, then you can find a quadratic. You can find like y y equals x plus uh b x plus c. And then if somebody give you three points, then you can find a cubic polynomial, right? So the idea is that uh, we want. So let's suppose that uh, uh, okay. So let's suppose that we have n point. So we want to find uh, a minus one degree polynomial such that. So let's call this polynomial p. Okay, so p of x such that p x i equal to y i. Okay. So the idea is that such polynomial, so let me just write down a definition. So such polynomial is called Lagrange polynomial. Okay, so basically, <coughs> basically the idea is that you just want to find such uh, one, right? Such a minus one. So for n equals to two, it's very easy that uh, you already learned in the high school that uh, uh, learned uh, maybe elementary school that how to find a line which cross these two points, right? But the idea is that we need to uh, give the general construction of uh, how such polynomial exists and uh, why it satisfies all these property. So the interesting thing is that uh, can, how can one find such polynomial? So in the original, like the two points, right? So usually people will first compute a slope and uh, assume that these lines called y equals mx plus b and uh, put the one point in to find this b. Okay. So the idea is that, uh, so for this Lagrange polynomial, the difficult part is how to construct it. Okay, so let's now I guess given the notation. So we have x0, y0, x1, y1, up to xk, yk. Right, so let's suppose that we have k plus one points. <coughs> So this just <coughs> so this just want to make uh, the polynomial to be degree k. Uh, okay. So how to construct this? So let's define the polynomial L or Lx to be, let's say, call it yjljx. Okay. And uh, let's given lj. So L, how to define this lj? lj is defined to be x minus xm. So don't worry, I will explain all the detail. xj minus sm. For such that uh, m is from 0 to k, but n is not the same as j. Okay, and the theorem is that lxi will become yi and uh, l is degree, uh, that's k polynomial. Okay, so this is a fact. Okay, so let's, uh, I think it's a little bit difficult if you, 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 you are the first time you see it. So let's quickly go through an example that uh, maybe that you are not afraid. So let's say we have, uh, let's say three points. Okay, so uh, our L is basically Y0, so X minus 
right? So x minus xm. So xm is from this. So in this case, m is zero, right? So you you can have x minus x one, x minus x two, and x zero minus x one, x zero minus x two. Uh, plus that like y one and y two. So for y one is x one, right? So x x minus x one. Oh, sorry, the x minus x zero, x minus x two. X one minus x zero, x one minus x two, and the y two is some something minus x one, x zero. So x two minus x one, x two minus x zero. Okay. So uh, okay. So let's see. Let's see. Is L satisfied? Is so obviously the L is a degree two polynomial because this term is quadratic. This is quadratic. Quadratic. So let's say L. How about L x one? So x zero. So x zero only survive when this turn right because these these two turns are zero right because it has x minus x zero. So x zero is one right. X zero minus x one. X zero minus x two. So it's the same. So you get y y zero right. So you can easily check. You get y one and then you get y two. So L is what we want. Okay, very nice. Okay, so I think everybody knows uh, knows about the proof, right? Because you already see a trick. Okay, so the rest is just proof. Okay, so the first one is L is degree two polynomial is is trivial, right? Because each term each term contains the k term, right? There is a multiple of x minus x m, so it's k. So L is a degree k polynomial. Okay, so it's trivial. Okay. And the next is that I want to prove, uh, we want to prove this L X I is Y I. So let's just directly put it, okay. So we get J equals zero from K Y J L J X I, okay. So it's, so let's see what is L J X I, right? So L J X I, if let's say if J is not the same as I, then what we will get? If J is not the same as I, then there will be X minus uh, there will be x minus, uh, let's say. So if j is right, so if okay, so if j is not equal to x i, then, right? Then there, when you put x i, then will be there will be x i minus x i, right? Because m can choose to be i, so it will be zero, right? And if j is equal to i, then you see. Let's say if j, let's say l x x i, right? Then you will get the same. Then you will get one, right? Because the denominator is exactly x i minus x m, and then and the, the numerator is x i minus x m. The denominator is the same x x i minus x m, right? Since both j and i are the same, they just product. So you get one. Okay, so you get one. Okay, so that means l x i. So this term is basically the delta i j, right? So only only i the same as j survive, right? So this term is exactly y i. Okay. So if you see the if you see this, then you will see this is exactly what we when we, we put x zero, only these terms survive. These two terms are zero. When we put x one, only these terms become one, and these two terms are zero. When we put x two, then these terms survive. Then these two terms are zero. Okay. So yeah. So let's. So this is the, what we want, and this, this is called Lagrangian polynomial. Okay, so let me see where there is a there is a um, interesting thing we need to know. Uh, I think no, maybe uh, there is other generalization, but I think it's not uh, not in not suitable to put in here, right? So you can just check that uh, you can also compute L L the derivative of prime double prime. Right, but I think it's not uh, it's not it's not suitable for this lecture because in this lecture we are just going to some elementary introduction to how one can produce so called Lagrangian polynomial and uh, why it exists. Okay, so from this uh, we we at least have the following theorem, right? So we have a theorem that uh, if somebody give you exactly k points, that's uh, so k, k plus one point, and the and the xi and then not the same as xj, then there always is this. So this is somehow non-trivial. There's always is this k plus one uh, degree. So there's always degree there's always is this degree k polynomial 
interpret interpolate this uh, this point. Okay, so this statement is non-trivial that one can use the one polynomial to show that uh, so that uh, there's it is there's always it is the degree k polynomial such that it pass all its points. Okay, so I think that's for today's video. I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel.